Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm makeup artist Mac Phong Bay in New York City and today I have my model Tara here. She here helped me creating this beautiful makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. We're gonna start off with Tara's skin with some eye patch. We we'll play the eye patches in between the area. Using the stairs with hazel. Instead of using the cotton pad, I'm using my hand to tap it on her skin. Image free intensive hydrating serum. Rub it into my hand. Slowly tap it in and massage it into her skin. Mmm, I love the smell of this. Using this clay improvement moisturizer from Origin. Mm. In the finger and then taps it down. And sometimes it's just like giving the model a little massage before the makeup application is up with the model and the kind of relax and feeling good. That is the important part over here. Very important. I wish I got this treatment every time. Using this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I like to use eyeshadow primer rather than using the concealer because I feel like eyeshadow primer tend to stay longer. To try the Jason Vu eyeshadow palette. I think like the shadow base is really like neutral. Let's start off with this little pinkish shade. Uh, the makeup today is gonna be just very like minimalistic but also date and night good thing about these eyeshadow shoe is that we don't have to worry about the fallout using the tapping method tap on the pigment so this is gonna be our transition shade they're using this shade i'm gonna use this for the drop shadow looking at her eye like something very minimalistic not too much using this pencil from persona Basically any brow color, it would work perfect. So I like brow pencil because it's not too intense. If we see that it's a tips of the eyeliner using the same brush, grabs a little out, go in here and then blend it out, work a little. I have a little bit of contrast into the eyeshadow. Now I'm using this zipper brow, put it on top of the eyeliner. Let's focus on the outer corner out here with that shadow. That's where it's blending with the brow to diffuse the color from the brow liner. Tara have a uh, hooded eye. We just need to make sure the liner get a little bit thicker, closer to the fold so that we can see the little eyeshadow that we blend in, and also the eyeliner. The three metallic shades is really beautiful. And between like these two would be really nice. Uh, I'm leaning toward this one. So let's give a little bit of intensity. This is the time I'm just gonna take off this eye patch. Look at that. I'm using this eyelash color from Shea Jado. But look down from the time. It's just super easy with a little lip. Now using this volumizing mascara from Laura Mercier. I'm using the uh, little mascara one to put on. You look down for me. So now that I already got one side of the mascara done, you can see the totally different from one side to the other side. <laughs> Now put on some of the duo glue. I love using individual for my uh, makeup look. I'm starting with a medium. Look straight for me to the camera. A little lashes, a little liner, a little shadow, not too much. Everything just like balanced together. If you have like a hooded eye, draw the eyeliner a little bit thicker. So therefore it would be easier to see the color and the shadow. I touch her skin. I know the skin is ready. Moisturizer is already absorbed into her skin. I'm gonna add a little uh, Laura Mercier Illuminating Primer. Because it's illuminating primer, I am just gonna put it at the high point of her face, like her cheek and surround this area. Even like when she turn around the light, you can totally already see the light heating at this point. The skin is already perfect, but now it's even more illuminating. Now I'm using this Dior foundations. I like my makeup application cover everything, but also not too much. If I don't have thing that I need to cover, I wouldn't want to cover it. So I just want to even out her skin tone. That's pretty much. So the foundation is actually really good. It's already matching her next light over here. So when we still see the illuminating primer, it's giving a little bit of glow around her face, which is amazing. I really like this foundation. It's turning to be matte, but also not really heavy with the skin. 
I love the formula. Now we're using this Laguna bronzer from NARS. Hopping on the bronzer around the forehead. Drag it closer to the hairline if we need to. I like to use a tapping motion so that way it's not gonna mess up my um, foundation that I work so hard for the non sodic skin. And then a little bit down here, put it on the nose, this area. It's not exactly like a contour, but it's just like a sun kiss bronzing. Her skin looks absolutely amazing, like beautiful. Let's see the dimensions here, here, and here. Using this Anastasia Beverly Hill brow gel, and then put it on a little spoolie. I think she have a beautiful brows already. Therefore, I don't need to rejoin. And this Catrice Camouflage 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Three dots. Just three dots. <laughs> Great. And using a little buffy brush. Tara doesn't have a lot of like dark circle. I tap it in just like at the inner corner of her eye. And then blend this out a little like this. That's way a brightening her under eyes area. I'm using Essie Lauder blush, the color 330 Wild Sunset. So I'm just dragging it backward closer to her E area. That way it's blending with the bronzer we asked earlier. On one side we're gonna have a blush, on the other side we have a bronzer which is amazing too, but now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. She doesn't need to do a lot of uh, contour because she already have a skinny face. Also, she already have a pretty well toned out jawline. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna put a little blush to blend in with the bronzer that we did earlier. I'm using this um, blending brush, it's 116. This is looking so amazing. Her skin looking just beautiful. I love but, it. I mean, this is like what I would do if I was going for to like something fancy. Yeah, to an event. And I want it to be like classic. Using this pencil liner from Laura Mercier named Rosewood. What I'm gonna do is like focus at the cupid bow, like right here. I don't want to overdraw her lip. I'm just feeling in this. Now, if she opens her mouth and then draw it follow the lip line. Using the lip gloss from MAC, just put on teeny tiny, very little. Woo! Usually I just focus on the center of her lips, so that way it doesn't come out and smear. Alright guys, I guess that pretty much it is. I hope you guys enjoying this tutorial on how to create this day and night makeup look on my model Tara. Thank you Tara for being here and I am super excited for you guys to see the look that we put out.